Hi, my name is Rachel. Welcome to my channel, Learning with Boys. Today, I want to talk a little bit about World Geography from Heart of Dakota. This is the first yearbook for their high school program. Hi, welcome. If you're new here, I'm a homeschool mom of four boys, ages 9 to 19. We've been homeschooling for 13 years. And today, I want to talk about the Heart of Dakota curriculum. This is our third time using it. So I want to share just the history part with you and I want to show you some of the spines and I'm also going to turn the camera around and show you a few things. But first I want to mention I really appreciate all of you that have subscribed and said some encouraging things. That is really helpful to me. But if this is your first time watching one of my videos or if you have been watching these videos and they are helpful, really it would be encouraging to me if you would subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Well, let me show you a little bit about the world geography. And next year, the second year of Heart of Dakota, they have world history. And they're going to be different for sure. This is going to be more the mapping and the geography part of it and the discoveries um, compared to what world history would be. And that is dealing with all the people and throughout history. But I want to talk about the spines and show you the inside of the guide a little bit. This would be one of your main spines that you'll use throughout the whole year, um, a book of discoveries. It is mostly just reading chapters at a time about different people, about different events. They even have, you know, who made the first map and different map makers and, and things like that. So the, uh, the next book that is used a lot and then finished off at the beginning would be the archaeology book, which is put out by Master Books. Because it is more of the ancient part of it, the history, it does try to go in order of discoveries. So now this is a beautiful book and so many, and it mentions that so many of these discoveries that they find point to the truth in the Bible. And just how, you know, they discover these things, they're like, oh, well, that's what the Bible said. <laughs> it must be true. Um, so I just think it's neat how the Lord allows them to find these things. Um, the Hittites, um, biblical clues. Um, I love the pictures. Here's something about Persia and the information. All my boys have enjoyed reading this particular book. Um, the Edomites, so the Phoenicians, it even talks about them. Um, so I just wanted to share that book with you, but it will be finished. It's not real thick, so it will be finished more towards the beginning. He's been done with this book for a little while. And another book that is probably used a little bit towards the beginning, and he just read it I think last week or was it this week which I was like oh you're reading that book again so it's been a little while since he's read out of this one which is the seven wonders of the world and it is put out by BJU um, it does have some pictures but most are most are black and white and oh there's a few color pictures in there I didn't even know that um, but it just gives some other looks about buildings, about wonders of the world. Um, stone hedges mentioned. I cannot tell you everything in particular that he has read out of here. Here's one chapter that's outlined, so I know he probably, um, something about Jerusalem. And I think he just read about Nepal, Tibet. Oh no, um, Mount Everest, which is in Nepal. So he just read about that. So, and that is more towards the back of the book. So another one, I don't know if you'd really call this a spine because it is videos, it's DVDs. And there's probably about five of them. I'm looking at the case over there. He has some of them upstairs. But must see places. And we all enjoy these. Usually whatever you just talked about, like there was a pretty big section in this book. Petra, well, they actually went and looked at it. Um, these travelers, and they show you all the pictures, and it's really neat to see it all after reading about it. But the pictures in the book are beautiful too. 
but we're like, wow, and it gives you a little bit more aerial view and that type of thing. So, and you know, they'll, um, he just watched some videos about, you know, going around South America and they actually take the boat everywhere. So, I mean, you're seeing them go through the strait and then come out on the Pacific Ocean. So it was that kind of videoing. So it's really gives you a little bit more insight and not just the readings more visual, which is good for somebody that might need it all. Um, the last book would be the mapping book. I'm holding it in my hand. <laughs> um, mapping the world with art. And I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm gonna look at this one a little bit closer. There's three different sections that they use in here. So I want to show you those. Okay, so I do want to mention the difference of world history again, but this is more the chronological approach to geography based on the history of exploration and discovery and map making. And that's all mentioned in the guide. But this is the other spine. So I showed you, this would be the last one that they use. And this one is used throughout and they do different things with it. The first section of this book is um, it tells you some supplies you would need if you want to be very, very detailed. Um, I, I don't think my boys use any of that. And But these are the readings. So you would have all these people you could read about and all these maps that will be in there. The map drawings. Okay. So the reading sections are pretty basic. They're just front and back of a page. And you'll read about different people. Christopher Columbus, the New Worlds of America, Portugal Finds, Spice Islands, Cartier, North Passage. So they're just front and back. Each so if they have to read something out of here, I mean that's that's it. It's probably one of the easiest readings for them. So, the next section would be the map drawing. Like this would be map one. And this would have been one of the first maps he drew. Mesopotamia. Okay. But it starts out. Gives you the artistic way to draw it. What to add. Step by step. And that's it. And then you label it. Now, they do have DVDs to watch. My boys have never watched the DVDs. Um, my son right now is probably tracing them. But then he does have to label it. And you usually are drawing a map with the area that you're talking about. So after the map drawing, let's see, okay. Let me make sure I find it. So the activity section. And they have those labeled in the guide, but this is one thing that we are not doing. I don't think any of my boys have done this. It's just an extra, and they've never just felt the need. There's some I I do feel like there's even something to do with maps back here too. So wanted to show you that a little bit more. Here is the student guide or teacher's guide, whichever you wanted to call it. And um, it does give you an overview of what the world geography is. And I can tell you right now, you could get online um, and probably print all this off because they let you see the inside of the book. They let you see the the course descriptions and all of that. So, and they even, I know, let you see the first week. And the only, I mean, this is history, world geography. I mean, yeah, the book of discoveries, and then you would have a geography activity. And it, not every day do you even use the expedition journal, but you do use it quite a bit. You use, this writing is done once a week. The third day, they'll have a reading, and you're supposed to write write about it. They have maps in here, and this all has to do with the history of it. I think this is past where he hasn't got here yet, but here's like yeah, because he hasn't done Australia yet. Um, oh, and there's also some reading like this would be the Mammoth Caves here in the states. This was written in 1880, so this ought to be interesting. Oh, here's Africa. And then, I don't know if you could see it, 
all the names and then it gives you you're probably gonna have to follow along of who discovered what there so that'll be fun so that is the pages and I've shown those in other videos um, but just pick a week 17 mapping the world with art so he would just read 17 um, which would be about Portugal finds. I'm not going to even say that in the Spice Islands, and it's just that much of it. And then the geography for that day would be an activity. So he would not have done that. And the Living Library, God Spoke to Byton, and I'll mention those in just a minute. These are not, you know, this is not a requirement. You can just do the history part, these two boxes, and that would be it because the rest is all other subjects. Logic, Bible, literature, math, composition, science, and foreign language. Now, we do do some of that, but I'm just showing you the history part. The second day would be out of the Book of Discoveries. And it gives you a key idea. Portugal captured the city of Malacca. And then you would have another mapping activity. And then the third day would again be out of the Book of Discoveries. And it was about Balboa today. He was from a Spanish colony in Haiti. Of Haiti. Okay. So he would have to read this and then write something about that today in the Expedition Journal. So, and then he has another mapping activity. And then it looks like a new living library starts. That's what you wanted to, okay. And then the fourth day is another section this is this is unit 17 this is we've already done all this so uh, we're in the 20s right now um mapping the world with art you'd read another really it's just a back in front of a page and then it was about charles v of spain oh sponsored magellan so it's probably about magellan i do remember him reading about him and today you would get to watch the dvds and you would actually do map drawing 18A and 18B. Magellan Strait and the Philippines. So that's a week's worth. And then you have the Living Library. Now the Living Library is not required, but I do want to mention it real quick. Um, we do not have all the books. And I will tell you, this is our first year doing the world religion. We're trying to stay focused on that. If we can do both, we are but I think this ends up getting priority at this point in the year. <laughs> um, this was one of the first books. We did not finish it. I mentioned that in one of my videos. We tried. We just could not get through this book. It was a hard read. I don't like to put books down. There's another book that was hard, but it was worth the read that we did this year. Um, here's a couple more books. Herodias. Um, God spoke to Byton, and we did not get to that. I think that was actually mentioned in this chapter 17. I really wanted to. I have not read this book, and I'm tempted to try to fit that in just as a read aloud, maybe in the future. The King's Fifth, he did not get this read, but my other two did read this book. We enjoyed this one. Um... This is the one that's supposed to, it's actually not even this particular book. It's actually a, I can't remember the name of it, but it has to do with Drake. This is the book I pulled. I'm not sure if he's going to get that read or not. This one did not get read. Um, let's see. This is not one of them. This, we did enjoy that very much. Um, I feel like I had more. Maybe I don't. And this one's coming up, and we've read this one. In the past, he's like a doctor missionary, I think. And we actually, 
the first time I did this with my oldest, we actually printed a map of his travels and to read along with that. And that went well. This is a book, and I have not read this one. Um, I can't remember if my other boys did or not. So, and I think it's, I know it's after this one, but I don't know when. We did listen to this. This is on the list of books, but it's just actually a DVD. I mean, a, not a DVD. It's actually a CD we listened to, and it was very good. I'm tempted just to get the book. It's very, very good. Um, and I know this is towards the end because it is about Ernest Shackleton. And that's why we have this, and that is that is on the list. I feel like I'm missing one more, and I think it's a book we haven't read. But, like I said, you know, we, we don't get to all of them. I have them if we can. But if it helps you, and you want to do something like this, these you can get on recordings. I know these books you could get on rec you could get on a recording. I would not be surprised if this one you could. So that's a thought to get it recorded. All right. I hope that was helpful looking at how it's more of, you know, tracing through history, the discoveries, like he's learning a lot about discoveries of different people and the countries, not so much about, you know, who did what in different areas. So wanted to share that with you and I hope it helps somebody with, you know, their thoughts if they're thinking about this curriculum. All right. I appreciate you all watching so much and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you.